doing everything in the house and going doing what they're doing, unbelieving? Your God is the same? What? What is the point? Filling up a building, but when we leave, we go do the same thing that the common folk are doing? What is the point? The stadium, it's playoff weekend. We'll be full of people. What is the point? We are no different than them. Matter of fact, they got more people. He wants you to be uncommon. Uncommon. So when you're reading your Bible, you're uncommon. When you're studying, you're uncommon. You don't feel like it, but it's uncommon for you to open that book when you're outside of church. It's uncommon for you to spend 15 minutes of prayer in the daytime and there's no reason to pray. It's uncommon for you to praise and worship when everything is good. It's uncommon for you not to gamble. It's uncommon for you not to drink. It's uncommon for you not to commit adultery. It's uncommon for you not to lie. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's uncommon for you not to steal, kill. It's uncommon for you to desire holy holiness in your life. I'm going to show you in the word. It's uncommon. But he says, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make common people. That's why they look at you strange at work. Because God has got you on an uncommon path. And when you speak up, like I'm speaking up, they won't investigate you. They won't say, he's judging. There's only one that can judge, and that's God. But he in the earth, he said, witnesses in the earth who are willing to give their life for him. So that when the final judgment come, nobody can say, I didn't know. You know why? Because they've been with him. It's uncommon for you to be a single, beautiful black woman and not be spreading that love all over the city. It's uncommon for you to be a beautiful, handsome black man and purposely made yourself a eunuch. Nobody talking about when you used to be a player and a hustler, but now, baby, it's uncommon for that. It's uncommon. Because don't nobody believe all other single women, they whining and crying because they ain't getting none. And the brothers, they phone full of people calling on them. It's uncommon for you to be good looking and black and young. But soul out to God. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is a good place to take a praise break. It's uncommon for you to already have two or three kids and not have to pay for them by giving up some to somebody who's trying to play you because they think they need you. That's what the Holy Ghost told me. Come on, praise him one time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at somebody and say, I'm, I'm on an uncommon track. Yeah. Yeah. They've been laughing at me. Talking about, you know, but I tell them, I'm, I'm uncommon. I'm uncommon. 
Amen. 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 I've been uncommon all my life. Amen. Look at him. Tell him I'm uncommon all my life. Amen. May as well finish up right here. I'm uncommon all my life. Come on. All right, all right. Pray for America. Let's pray for America right now. Amen. Because if America doesn't repent, hear what's coming on America. America, you can't find America in the Bible like you want to. Eagles fly, B4s and B-52s all in the scripture. You know, you can't find it. Read the Bible. You can't find it. Jets. Lady Liberty all standing there posing, taking selfies. You can't find all that, children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got hats on, flags. You know, she, she doing, she, <laughs> you know, they got music going to it. They didn't put it where she got swag. Uh -uh, you can't find that in the scriptures. So America is either the rapture occurs here real soon, and America is cut off at the knees because she was Christian, and those who are really sold out to God are taken out so America is crip crippled, and the nations come in and part her. Or America is taken over by nations here real soon because America is not in the scriptures. Party! Like everybody trying to get here to us. Now, you know I'm telling you the truth. You can dig, and you got to dig hard. And I done, done dug hard, and you got to squint to get and, and, and hurry up and say she's Babylon and get that. But America ain't in the scripture. So I'm going to have to ask you, where are you? Where'd you go? Y'all on top, people from Africa, China, people from New Zealand, Great Britain, everybody coming here. Folk saved here on cruise ships trying to get here. But then... All of a sudden, she ain't here no more. So where did she go? Why you partying? Why you got your head in the sand? Why you licking on sin? Why you eating sin burgers and you're you paying for it? You're dying for it? You're crying for it? I'm going to ask you a question. Where did she go? Why you can't get to the house of God? Why you don't like to pray? Why all us is hypocrites? Why the church is a, is a jive time place and all that and we stupid? Okay, I'm going to ask you, you living on this soil, where did you go? Where you at? Where your hood? Because you won't find it. So either one or two things happen. Either the rapture occurs and not all America goes. Guaranteed. And America is silenced. Or she is finally invaded by the nations, Russia and China, and they just shut, you, shut us down. Which is a real probability. Real soon. Because now the people don't want to pray. So your lack of prayerness, death to your family, is death to the nation. Look at your family, how hard it is to keep your family together, keep your marriage together, keep your single house together. Multiply that time all the millions of families. So go the nation. You can't call a prayer meeting in your house for a week, for a month. Get agreement in your house. Multiply that time all the houses in your village. They having the same problem, the same demon that attacks your house. The reason you and your children and the people in your house can't get on one accord to believe in one God at one time, at one hour. Because we wrestling against principalities and powers. Told you I had this vision. I'm up in the clouds, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I'm up in the clouds and the higher I get, the angrier I get. Holy Ghost told me we would get here and told me that a lot of people would take this and just throw it down.
because it's falling in your cups. What you going to do with this? Amen. We are in a place now where we either need to turn back to God, the whole nation needs to repent, or this here going to be the story that the nation is going to sing about us. While you are sitting around waiting on your smooth prophets to tell you it's going to be well, and you can't even get a high prayer meeting in your house. As you point your fingers to Washington. You can't keep a good hot prayer meeting and can't keep the devil out your house. That's why we can't keep him out the church. <laughs> so when we pray for America, we ain't just praying for Lady Liberty and the statue of, up there and Donald Trump or whoever Biden. We praying for your house. Single household, single black women with one child, two children, three single black man raising one child, split up household, going through a divorce, divorce, but still playing with each other. My God, living together, about to get a divorce, living together but can't serve God. Whatever your situation is, you better find an altar because soon things about to change. You know why I'm hollering at Sister Weaver? Because the Bible told me, amen, I'm a quiet man. <laughs> you know, I don't be, I, I'm a quiet man. I'm John Wayne, I'm a quiet man. <laughs> Y'all seen that movie, I'm a quiet man. But the Bible says, cry loud. And spare not. Show my people their transgressions. We calling all prayer warriors and eagles, men that tired of being chicken behind women. <laughs> tired of being chicken behind women's appendages. <laughs> all y'all locked up behind Delilah's goods. I'm going to be good. Stevie be good. Johnny be good. Stevie be good. Oh, y'all locked up, man. All you women locked up. We're calling all egos. God's put a higher calling on you. Come on, lift your hands and praise him. Oh, yeah, Holy Ghost. The God I walk with, he speaks about the future. Before it come, he told me we we're going to get here. We over Africa, too. We over the nations. We over China. He said, the higher we got, the angrier. The more warfare. We in warfare right now. We pulling down strongholds. Somebody need to let that go. You can't do nothing for God because you chasing that woman. Ooh. God didn't call you into the ministry and to do something to serve him. And some of you ain't called to preach behind a pulpit, but you are called to serve. But your idol is a woman. Solomon is your daddy. You wise, but you a fool too. You can't love just one woman. You know who I'm talking to. Soon as you get before God and deal with that idol, God's going to meet you and he's going to use you. That was Solomon's issue. That will fuss somebody. 
Y'all come on, take a praise break. Oh, God. Come on, Stephen. We got to. Woo. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Keep me, keep me, keep me, keep me, keep me. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse, verse 9. Come on, go there with me. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9. Pray for America. Pray for America. Pray for America. Y'all still with me? Yeah. We're in the clouds now. Now, I spoke a word on Wednesday night. If you had been here, those of you who were here, I can go. You can, you can attest to this because God already know. And the word was that I was caught up in the spirit. And where I was caught up in, the higher I got up in the warfare, higher I got up in the warfare, angry I had become in the spirit. It wasn't me. The spirit had become angry. But the people were just sitting down with their head down like they didn't care about this. And what was on me began to fall in some of the people's cups. And the people, some, some people reached into the cups and began to shake it off like, we don't need that. This is that moment. And then I says I was over Africa and other places. And this is that moment. And the Spirit of the Lord is doing intercession right now with some and some people. I don't need that. I don't want to hear that. Amen. But God's trying to set some people free. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Is that where I sent you? For, what did I tell you? I'm sorry if I confuse you. First Corinthians chapter 5. Come on, let's go there. I'm going to get you out of here. I'm trying to be done by noon. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm shooting for. Our service time starts at 10 o'clock now. Yeah. Amen. Our new praise team under the direction of uh, Minister Ramon and Crystal and Mario and Lindana and Kamisha, you know, they all... And we got some people missing, but boy, and and and, and uh, Takari man, and uh, Crystal, other Crystal man, they was they was hot as, they was hot as, ooh, they was hot. In the spirit, man, they was hot. Look at here, look at here, First Corinthians chapter five, verse nine. Let's do this real quick. Here's why God's going to judge America. Okay, thank you for putting it up there. I can read it up there. I wrote unto you in an epistle, not the company with fornicators. Oh, go back there, man. Hold on. Now, America has built its churches. America has built its whole living on diversity. It's going to get uncomfortable for people. They want to go to heaven. And they're going, they're going to blame the preacher. But God's calling for uncommon preachers, uncommon pastors, uncommon ministers. And what I'm about to say is going, going to cause a lot of people to have to decide is you going to be common or uncommon. Because I'm going to speak the truth to you crystal clear. Oh, God, Holy Ghost, thank you. I'm going to pour out some truth on you. And you're going to either walk out here and like it, or you're going to walk out here and hate it. But I'm just the best. I'm just that brown cup. Ain't nothing pretty about the cup, but that stuff in that bottle, priceless. It ain't just water. It's priceless juice. I wrote unto you in the epistle not to company with fornicators. That's in your Bible. But America has been about big churches. The preachers been about big ministries. Compromise. Money. Facilities, the look. So any and everybody come. That is true. The door is open to all. 
Jesus is the door. But we running out of time. The Bible says no fornicator. Stephen didn't say it. Crystal didn't say it. Regina didn't say it. Terrence didn't say it. Albert didn't say it. But what happens when anybody said it? Everybody get mad because somebody had the nerve to repeat what God said. And I'm here to tell you, and I'm pointing at you, if you call yourself in the ministry or Christian, and you too weak to say what God said, God said, I don't need you because you common. Yeah. Now you take that and smoke it. And everybody would like me more if I said it like this. Please. But we running out of time, baby. Amen. Your house on fire. Amen. All you fornicators. And God said it. Don't company with fornicators. Ooh. All over the world. God don't want his church, his bride, company with. Y'all ain't never heard it that straight. We're fornicators. Now this is my bride. And the way God figured out, if his bride hung with fornicators, they would influence her to fornicate. <laughs> I ain't got no place to go but from here to the grave. <laughs> I ain't got no other appointment but from either here to the grave or here to the rapture, son. And God said, I wrote unto you an epistle, not the company. You know why? Because he think we so much better. Because we are fornicators saved by grace. Yeah. Ain't now one of us hardly can say we never fornicated. Because as soon as we do, we, they'll line up, men and women. We got babies to prove it. I ain't, but some of them do. Next scripture. Yet not all together with the fornicators of this world are with covetous. Now this is your God. See, y'all don't want to go to heaven. Y'all want to go to a church in the sky and eat chicken the rest of eternity. Y'all don't know nothing about heaven. <laughs> y'all don't. Y'all ain't got a clue what heaven is. Y'all don't even know where y'all going. Y'all might be going to Muslim heaven. Y'all ain't got 70 virgins. You women going to have 70 men as far as y'all know. Y'all ain't got a clue what goes on after dark. <laughs> when the lights go out. Once they cry, y'all ain't got a clue because y'all ain't read y'all Bible. He said, the fornicators of this world are with covetous. That means people that greedy, want stuff all the time. Everybody you know wants stuff. Y'all break down Walmart wanting stuff. <laughs> Sit on the phone to talk about how much stuff y'all want. Oh, man, y'all don't want me either, do you? He said, are extortionists. <laughs> you don't even know what that means. Or idolaters. God don't want you hanging with people that got other stuff that's more important in their life than God. That's half your family. Half your, half your friends. You go, oh, I'm going to heaven. He loved me. He going to fry your behind. You, idolaters. Stuff 
People who put other stuff before God. Put the church before God. Put the boyfriend before God. The girlfriend. The car before God. The baby party before God. Shoe shopping before God. Got to get my nails done before God. Got to get my wig twi twisted before God. Come on. Got to go get some rims before God. Got to see my homies before God. Idolaters. Got to put myself before God. He said, don't company with them. Don't go see them. Don't call them. Don't talk to them. Don't sit down with them. Don't text them. Y'all don't know the Bible. What heaven you think you going to? Good God Almighty. Where you going? <laughs> For then, needs must we, needs go out of the world. Okay, next scripture, man. The, <laughs> I can get these people to say, next scripture. You got one? But now I've written unto you, not to keep company, if any that is called, A brother. See, see, this get a little sticky icky here. Getting tight. This kind of holiness, you don't want to live. You say, well, I can't go to that church. You can't go to no church if it's a God church. So you pick your preachers that won't preach what I'm preaching. So God don't pick his preachers that will in the end. Look, I didn't write it. I ain't that smart. But now I've written unto you, don't keep company with this man that's called a brother. If he's called a brother, if he's called a sister, that be a fornicator. That be a fornicator. That be a fornicator. You can put adulterer in there. Don't sit down with him. I can't go to dinner with you. Why? 